Hey gang, Jose with Salem Rubbery, giving you a quick update. Uh, as you know, we completed the installation of our water tank and uh, I'm in the process now of sanitizing the system so we can start using that water uh, for drinking or filtering for drinking and you know for showering and all that good stuff. So whenever you put a new tank on, uh, the manufacturer recommends that you sanitize and they suggest, uh, at least for this particular um, Vita's uh, bladder tank, that you use uh, 0.13 ounces per gallon. So I kind of figured out it's a 50 liter uh, tank, which is 26.5 gallons times 0.13 ounces per gallon is going to be um, about 6.9. I'm rounding it to seven um, teaspoons, or sorry, tablespoons of bleach. So that's my measurement. I got to put seven of these. Uh, in a mix of water in our tank and get that, uh, let it to sit for about four hours. Now, I wanted to show you a little bit of what I did uh, to make sure that we use clean water as much as possible going into the tank. Okay, so in, uh, in my house, uh, the water is actually clean and we have clean pipes because we had those done not too long ago. So what I'm doing is I'm using an inline filter um, to get the water from the house and filter it and this hose is a dedicated hose for potable water so make sure that if you're using a hose that is made for potable water uh, not a regular garden hose um, you know different chemicals on those and I'm filling up my uh, water jugs these are five gallon um, these are the scepter um, water tanks which actually work really good they come with a uh, flexible dispenser. So you can put this in and basically leaning over and bend the corner uh, to fill up the tank. And actually works really good because I don't have to hold it. Um, and they have the air vent on the back to make sure that it flows um, nice and easy. All right, so we have our bleach. We put seven uh, tablespoons in this jug, which is uh, what it would call for the entire 26 and a half gallons of water. So I'm going to drop this in the tank and uh, we'll give that a stir and open the faucets to get our, our bleach water uh, running through the entire system. Okay, so that's the beauty of that flexible spigot. You can just basically lay the, the tank uh, flat on its side. Uh, open the air vent and it'll get all the content uh, in the water tank so now this is uh, water with the bleach for the system this last 10 gallons should fill up our entire tank and uh, we should be ready to uh, basically get our system sanitized so that's our tank it's completely full that's uh, you know pretty much filled to capacity which is what we were shooting for Everything worked good, valves still solid, no leaks. And the good news is that all you have to do is push it, um, or actually the, the water's gonna touch every area of the tank, which means that the bleach water is gonna touch every area of the tank. Usually if you had a, a hard tank for your water, you would have to fill it all the way to the top and then you have to go shake it, you know, basically go for a sale or a a power run and make sure the water slushes around so that bleach water gets into everything so next thing is we need to open our faucets so I'm gonna turn our breaker on pressurize water open it up and let it run until we start smelling the bleach there we go once you smell the bleach, um, you close it up. We're gonna do the same thing uh, on the head. And okay, I can smell the bleach, so I'm gonna run the shower head. To make your water Bleaching water runs into every hose, every spigot. Um, there we go, I can smell the bleach. 
we're gonna stop this. I'm gonna just leave it there. I'm gonna close some water. All right, we now have bleach water through the entire system. And now what we're gonna do is let it sit for about four hours. Uh, they recommend four to eight. Um, this being a brand new system, brand new hoses and everything, I'm gonna shoot for four and then I'll come back, drain all the water, fill the tanks uh, back up with just fresh water and run them through and make sure that the chlorine smell uh, comes out. You know, basically we, the water starts coming out with no chlorine uh, smell. And that's how we know that the tank is flush and is ready for use. So I'll be back in about four hours to check things out. All right, so we're in a uh, phase two of our sanitation, which is we have to empty the entire tank. And uh, uh, then we have to, you know, put fresh water in and kind of rinse the tank. So we're going to get through one cycle of that today. And then I'm gonna drain the tank again uh, tomorrow. And then I'll run, uh, reload it. And after that, we should be in good shape. So what I'm doing right now is running the chlorinated water through the system and emptying the tank, which means we have to keep an eye out um, for the tank to become empty uh, so we don't burn our pump. So we basically we have to keep an eye on it for a little bit. Okay, you can see how the tank starts you know, kind of getting empty back to its uh, empty shape. And we're just gonna kind of let it run and see what it looks like after it's completed. So, we completely um, emptied the tanks, or the tank, and uh, I added, filled it up again, and um, ran the rinse water through. I'm gonna let it sit overnight, let it drain it one more time, then I'll fill it and we're done with the, the sanitation. So I'll be back tomorrow to finish the job. All right, folks, that completes our uh, sanitation cycle. Uh, we took chlorine water, put it through the tank, let it sit for about five hours, drain it completely, uh, you know, ran it through the hoses and the system. So that sanitized all of the hoses, all of the spigots, um, pretty much everything through the system. And then we drain all of that chlorine water, fill it up again with fresh water, rinse everything once. We just completed draining the tanks again. I, I hate wasting the water, but it's kind of a necessary step uh, in order to make sure you have a system that's clean and um, you know capable of holding fresh water for drinking and cooking and all of that. So now the last step is just refill the tanks and we are ready to start using the water coming through the system. So that, that's it for this episode, you know, quick short one. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like our videos, please click below and subscribe to our channel. We are sharing everything that we're doing with Reverie uh, you know, for the past two years on our refit. So hopefully this will help you uh, with your future projects. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment below. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode. See you soon.